Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your ping as well as your frame rate lag in Roblox, or more specifically in Blocks Fruits. So I used to play on around 150 ping, but these are some of the things I did to get my ping to usually be around 30 to 60, as well as get over 100 FPS, and I'm going to share these tips with you guys. Make sure to follow every step, as all of them together will help you get the lowest ping and highest frame rate possible. Alright, so first things first, you want to clear your temp folder. This is really important because every time you open Roblox or join a server, thousands of temp files are created here in this folder and this doesn't just cause your roblox to lag this could also be the reason you might be experiencing lag on your pc in general so it's always just good to clear this out all these files are junk and you don't need them so to get to this folder you want to go down to your start menu and just type in percent temp percent and it will take you to the folder once we're here we just want to delete everything in here and then empty the recycle bin and this is something you want to do every day or every other day it really helps with lowering ping and just helping your pc run better in general moving on to step two you want to get an fps unlocker so this is actually really simple to do and this doesn't only just help your network lag this will also help your frame rate lag just across every roblox game you play so this is just something amazing to have so first off just right click anywhere on an open space on your desktop and then click new folder and then we're going to just name it client settings with the capital c and capital s then we're going to want to open this folder and make a new text document. So in the description, you're going to see this long line of code. And what I want you to do is just copy that. And then we're going to open this text document that we just made. We're going to paste the code from the description into the notepad. Now what I want you to do is click save as right here. And this little bottom option right here, we're going to change this to all files. And then instead of having dot text, we're going to put a dot JSON at the end. So it should look exactly like this client app settings dot JSON. And make sure it's exactly the same as the capitalization does matter. Next, we're going to just save this and now what i want you to do is simply right click on your roblox app on your desktop go to open file location and simply just drag the folder we made in and you're done moving on to step number three you want to go to this little search bar and type in cmd and you want to right click it and then click run as administrator from here you want to type this or just copy it from the description and we're going to type ip config slash flush dns what this will do is flush your DNS caches and actually has more benefits than just lag on Roblox, but for our sake, this is what we care about. Next thing we're going to do, and this is probably the most important thing to do, and this will be in the description if you just want to copy it, and we're going to type net sh space winsock space reset. And then after this, you just want to restart your computer, and this is easily one of the best lag fixes known to the internet. And you'll see the same thing said across many other YouTube videos. And one last thing, just an obvious tip, but for anyone who doesn't know, always make sure to make use of the servers option and just pick a server closest to your region. After that, we're done, and here I'll show the difference between my ping and FPS without any of these steps, and secondly, after all of them. So here we have my ping and frame rate with none of these changes, and as you can see, my ping is not the worst, but nowhere near good and my frame rate no matter what i do is locked at 60. as you can see after the fixes here we have around 150 to 180 average fps and about 40 to 70 ping so i hope this helped you guys with your ping or at least your frame rate as these things are really what helped me the most and last thing for the kitsune giveaway from last week here's the winner for that and the next giveaway we are doing will be for a permanent buddha as i've been giving away a lot of things for experienced players and i want to give new players a chance to get something good that will help them level up and with that said thank you guys for watching